to explain the uh, uh, relevant anatomy that is important for blocking the nerve, we have to realize that the suprascapular nerve, which is indicated with this yellow arrow, is a very thick nerve and on its way to the suprascapular fossa it has to go underneath the suprascapular ligament which is indicated with a green cross here. Very much in contrast to the vessels which is the vein and the suprascapular artery they pass above the ligament. For the block it is important to know that you should not go as far as ultrasound image is concerned you should not go for the area where the nerve runs underneath the ligament due to geometrical uh, problems and or the geometry of the scapula and the ligament which is very very valuable and the inclination of the ligament it's not a good idea to try to visualize the ligament but it is worth visualizing the notch if possible the scapula notch and then go to visualize this very thick muscle which is the suprascapular muscle what is reflected in this anatomical spec specimen the second muscle seen here is the trapecius this will obviously cover our internal landmark the supraspinatus muscle both together account for the fact that in some individuals the distance will be very very high from superficial to the target point after passing the suprascapular foramen the nerve indicated here with a second yellow arrow will pass underneath our first internal landmark which is the supraspinatus muscle so it's still deep to the supraspinatus muscle and as soon as it travels underneath the muscle it will be on top of bone and very beautifully seen here if you just think the course of the nerve is approximately like that it is not perpendicular to the longitudinal axis what I indicate here of the supraspinatus muscle this is medial here and this is lateral meaning the nerve will come from the suprascapular notch and travel towards which is underneath the root of the spine of the scapula the spinoglenoid notch and with the red bar it is indicated that in this case according to the course of the nerve we are perpendicular to the course of the nerve not in line with the supraspinatus muscle and not in line with the spine of the scapula meaning it, it, the course of the suprascapular nerve is considerably oblique between the two notches another anatomical detail that is important for our alternative approach shown afterwards is the fact that this muscle which is the omohyoid muscle is in close relationship to the nerve in the so-called posterior cervical triangle and the nerve always has to pass underneath this muscle and secondly it may also be a internal landmark